Hello again everyone, this is Bob Martin with the Nautilus Dry Docks and I want to share with you my newest project. It's a little bit of a departure from the norm for me, but it's something I'm really excited about. Uh, this is a 1 8 scale Alvin Research Sub. It's going to be full RC operation. Wanted to give you a quick look and show you where I'm at. All right, as you can see, it's actually a sizable uh, little boat. It's about 32 inches in length overall, but really, you know, where it stands out in terms of size is the uh, beam. Got lots of room inside there. Got a lot of really neat features. This is all 3D printed, something that I just created on the, on the printer. It's a swiveling prop arrangement for the back uh, for steering. We've got some Graupner drives here. Uh, and these are really neat units too. I had never seen these before, but it allows uh, you know, control of the pitch of the thrusters. Uh, and then also you've got a drive shaft in here for the actual propellers. And it's going to have two of these and they're going to be mounted uh, right about here on the boat. I'm going to exit right about there. What you're looking at is about 11 hours worth of work. And I know it certainly doesn't look like it, uh, but there was a lot of prep that went on here, a lot of sanding uh, of seams. There was a massive gap in here of probably between a quarter of an inch and three eighths of an inch that I needed to build out, fill, sand. All of the ports needed to be cut out and the uh, rings, these depressions put inside as you can see, these side ones are actually two pieces, so they needed to mate up perfectly. So there's actually quite a bit of work that has gone into the model already, despite what it looks like. As you can see, there's lots of room inside there. So this is gonna be a really fun project to do. Huge uh, resin prop in there, I've got some oil light bearings to make sure we get things moving really, really smoothly. Comes with a, a very detailed assembly instructions. Now this was made back in 2006. Some of the technology has changed a lot. Some of the instructions call for building materials such as wood and I, I really don't like the sounds of that. So I'm going through there modifying things as necessary but as it stands right now everything is actually turning out really really well. I'm excited to get to the installation of the running gear. I'm going to do a little bit of a departure for myself. I'm actually going to use a watertight box that I sourced online. It's supposed to be good for 15 feet of depth without an issue but that'll allow great access to the inside. Came with a full set of plans as you can see here as well. And that certainly helps when you're scratch building a lot of the internal components and to set up where things go on the exterior. Now the owner is elected to go for a little bit later version of the boat than what the instructions called for. It's got the red sail. I believe this was the 1969 uh, version. And I'm referencing some build photos that a gentleman had already done. And I'll put his name uh, on the video on the bottom there that you can see, but he did an absolutely amazing job. And if I'm not mistaken, this model is actually part of a museum display now. So I hope to emulate uh, his success with this boat. Hope you guys will be joining me for this journey. Um, look for some more updates fairly soon. I got quite a bit of time to work on it here. I'm gonna be 3D printing a lot of the detail parts so you see how those turn out as well. Thanks for joining me yet again. Uh, if you have any questions or comments, by all means, email me, bob at rc-sub.com. And be sure to check out my website at the Nautilus Dry Docks. 
www.ethicsmartmoney.com. Lots of stuff there that you can look through in terms of reference material. Uh, and there's also things you can buy if you're interested in the hobby. So thanks again for joining me and we'll catch you next time.